you kind of feel how special that goal was as it happened? Yeah, um, I mean, we kind of just, you know, got a hard rim and uh, um, got on the four check and puck just kind of popped out to me. And, um, you know, once I kind of, you know, corralled it and um, was able to get my head up, I kind of saw Sash getting towards the net and just got it to him. And, um, you know, I kind of said yesterday, once you get it, the puck in his hands, magic just kind of seems to happen. So um, I didn't really know what happened uh, or the move, at least until the second intermission. And, um, you know, it was a pretty special play. What are your thoughts on that? Two games in a row and three times at this point, most of the overtime walk-offs. I mean, it's one thing to have guys that are top-tier talents, but to perform in the most critical moment. Yeah, you know, I think... You know, for a lot of those guys, it's when the, the lights get the brightest and, you know, he just seems to, to up his level and, um, you know, it's special to see it's, um, you know, it's a boost for us and, um, you know, it obviously gives us the confidence, um, you know, going into any situation when you got a player like him um, to be able to step up like that, it's, uh, it's huge. Go ahead, Tom. You're up 2 nothing. obviously exciting for those two wins. Any kind of control that a little bit and focus on what you have to do here at home, obviously it's still work to do in the series. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, just like you said, series isn't over. So, um, you know, we kind of regroup today, get home, um, get some recovery and stuff like that. And then, um, you know, just show up tomorrow and it's uh, it's another game. It's um, We don't think about it too much. We're just, um, you know, going to get ready for tomorrow and, um, you know, be able to play our best game. You weren't even alive yet the last time the Panthers played a Eastern Conference final game in South Florida. Just how excited are you to get this back to Slipper, like you said, for game three and just kind of give that to the fans, fans have pushed away a long time? Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, we love playing at home. We love playing in front of our fans. And, um, you know, as this playoffs is, um, you know, continued to go on, um, you know, it's just got that much more fun playing at home. And, um, you know, you see the crowd get come alive in um, certain situations and throughout the game. And, you know, it's just a ton of fun. We uh, we enjoy playing and um, forward it for those fans. And, um, you know, it's going to be really exciting tomorrow. What about this playoff run as a whole? I mean, you guys have won so many tight games. It seems like every game has been a one-goal game for the most part. You guys have won. Just what's the comfort level like? Obviously, a ton of comfort in overtime, but just these general tight games for a full 60 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I think as you, uh, you know, start experiencing different situations, the more comfortable you get. And, um, you know, that's just kind of been um, the way it's been for us throughout these playoffs. So, um, you know, by now everyone's comfortable in every situation. Um, you know, you build that trust within each other. And, um, you know, it's, uh, I think that's the most important thing. A lot of people have been trying to figure out what makes Bob tick these last couple of days of what he's been doing. How much do you talk to him during a game? Is it just go over for the taps or do you actually ever have a conversation with him? What's he like in these games? Um, he, he stays so dialed in. It's, um, you know, it's pretty fun to watch. So I think as a D, you kind of talk to him a little bit here and there. But um, a lot of just letting him do his own thing. You know, he's been amazing for us. And, um, you know, he's been a true backbone throughout every game. You know, we have so much confidence, um, you know, when stuff starts going south that he's going to make that big safe and he has so uh, you know he's been uh, he's been huge for us just the way that the game started yesterday the shots were lopsided on a you and the ice but they kind of play with surges like that how do you withstand that at, at, at periods of the game it was a third period i guess in game one how do you kind of get through that as a defense yeah you know i think um you know obviously we personally didn't get off to the start we wanted and um you know i think that uh you know they took advantage of that and um were able to come out hot and you know, I think regardless, it was the first period and we knew we had 40 minutes and, um, you know, we talked about situations before we've been in situations like that where, you know, we kind of go into the second period down a goal or down two goals and, um, you know, just to to be able to regroup and um, be able to move forward is um, is key for us and uh, we were able to do that yesterday. Thanks for your time, Josh. Awesome. Thank you, guys.